Happy Friday. I have been waiting all week long for this because this is finally the best new thing in the world segment where I get to say the phrase monkey crotch because it is relevant to the news story at hand and not just because it's fun to say monkey crotch. All right, this starts in Pakistan, which is a country that you would think had bigger things to worry about than censoring the internet. But Pakistan, in fact, is keeping itself very busy censoring the internet. In 2006, Pakistan blocked five websites for providing misleading information. In 07, they shut down access to YouTube because of non-Islamic objectionable videos. Last year, they blocked Facebook and Wikipedia in Pakistan. And then a month later, they blocked 17 other websites. Pakistan even has a hotline you can call to report objectionable internet things. Lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week for all your censoring needs. This means they literally have a phone number you can call if you think someone is wrong on the internet. Like that classic XKCD cartoon. Someone's wrong on the internet. I can't go to bed. Uh, but as of this year, it is no longer just the internet that Pakistan, the Pakistani government is censoring. About half of Pakistan's population has a cell phone. And like cell phone users everywhere, they text message a lot. Who knows what sort of wrong, blasphemous, dirty words and phrases they are texting each other. The Pakistani government thinks that they know, and they have made a list. A list of about 1,100 English words and phrases, and about 600 Urdu words and phrases, that as of Monday, the Pakistani government says it expects service providers to block, to censor, to prevent from being transmitted as text messages. Among the words that Pakistan, as of Monday, will block you from texting in that country, flatulence, tongue, fairy, uh, gonorrhea, spelled incorrectly. Spelling it correctly, as far as I can tell, is not banned. Also, the word headlights, finger food, love pistol, and deposit. Oh, also, monkey crotch. <laughs> Pakistani government officials also came up with more than, we have to use that picture, uh, also came up with more than 50 different phrases that involve the F word. Which might have just been for fun, since if you just ban the F word, then presumably you also ban all 50 F word containing phrases. But think about how much fun it must have been to be a government employee charged with coming up with 50 different ways to use the F word. That must have been really fun. The government's also banning texts that contain the word Wu-Tang, spelled like that. Also, you can no longer text the phrase Jesus Christ. You can also no longer text the word Budweiser. So if you want to text someone in Pakistan that great old joke about Jesus and the Wu-Tang Clan walking into a bar in St. Louis, you've only got this weekend to do it. As of Monday, it will not go through. As of Monday, there will also be eight different banned phrases in Pakistan that include the word foot, including athlete's foot. No more texting about that. They are also banning another 17 phrases that include the word but, with two Ts. Imagine how awkward it would be if one of the guys in charge of censoring text messages, like an executive at one of the telecom firms, had as a last name one of the banned words. Wouldn't that be awkward? Mr. Naveed Khalid Butt is a Pakistani telecom executive. In fact, he attended the big meeting with Pakistani government officials last month to discuss the start of the text messaging censorship campaign. Beginning on Monday, his company will censor his own name in SMS form. Also, poor Mrs. Headlights from down, the, down at the billing department. <laughs> and my cousin athlete's foot. Yeah, a man named Mr. Butt having to enforce Pakistan's new censorship of that word. I can't even make it. Best new thing in the world today. Goodbye. Prison. Go. I'm sorry.